Hi, so I wanted to discuss uh, the new Papers 2.1, uh, which was just released a couple of days ago. I held off uh, buying Papers 2, which came out in March of this year, because uh, I found it very buggy and um, it lacked many of the features that I liked in, uh, in Papers 1. So I held off until the 2.1 release, and I must say I'm very impressed by this. It's much nicer. Uh, this is the um, this is the opening screen that you get. I've imported my Papers 1 library and uh, I'm just going to show you a couple of new features. First of all we're just going to add some uh, PDFs which I've just downloaded from the journal websites. So the same as before you drag and drop into the uh, Papers uh, window and you see here that the uh, PDFs have been uh, imported. Uh, metadata has been added automatically by the uh, Papers program. You can see in all cases, uh, uh, this is uh, this has happened nicely. As before, if you uh, double click here on the paper, uh, you are presented with a larger version, which you can uh, zoom up. You can also read in uh, in a really nice uh, full screen view. Again, you can do that very easily. And a new uh, feature um, of uh, papers too is that uh, you can highlight uh, text within the PDF. So that makes it really useful because you can then export the PDF uh, with the highlights. You can also add uh, sticky notes as well to uh, remind you of something. Uh, is, uh, so this is a really nice uh, feature of uh, Papers 2.1. Uh, another thing that uh, is really uh, useful I find is that the blue uh, search uh, tokens have come back. So if, for example, you want to search for uh, papers, manuscripts, you can uh, do that and you can make this the author, first author, last author, uh, let's say first author and uh, hit return. You can choose your repositories that you're searching. Here we're going to choose PubMed and Web of Science and here you see uh, all the papers uh, that have been authored uh, by this, uh, uh, this first author. Again, really nice. Uh, I guess I should also talk about uh, Papers Life, which is a, a kind of social media uh, service uh, connected with the Papers application. I think it's just uh, a very interesting um, idea, and the idea is that you can choose repositories of papers and upload them to the Life service and then share them with people who have uh, common interests, uh, and then you can comment and share thoughts about manuscripts online, which is pretty cool.